<laughs> I hope you like that one too, because I am not going away. Uh, let's do some more Coach's Corner stuff. How about we check out some Beatles stuff? As we all know, the majority of Beatles stuff that's autographed on a Coach's Corner auction site is not authentic. As a matter of fact, this month, I did not find one Beatles autographed item that was authentic. Not one. How about we check out this first one, though? Lot number 21. A Beatles signed guitar by Ringo, Paul, and George. Are any of these autographs authentic? I don't think so. And who else has a signed guitar by Paul, Ringo, and George? Guess what? Only the Coach's Corner Auction site. Only they can get their hands on valuable items like that. So boys and girls, jump right on it. Because my alter ego is telling me I should not be doing this. I should be going away. But guess what? I'm fighting them off. I'm fighting them off. I'm fighting off my alter ego. Because you know why? I'm not going anywhere. I like doing this stuff now. <laughs> All right, let's look at this lot number 392. This Paul McCartney signed guitar is on the Coach's Corner auction site every single month. The autograph is identical, and the autograph is a forgery every single month. Coach's Corner has this garbage on their auction site. They all ought to be embarrassed over there for allowing all of this crap to go to auction at all. You guys over there should all be ashamed of yourselves. I don't know how you guys sleep at night. But you know something? I'm going to keep doing these videos. Oh, yes. Every single month, Coach's Corner has this up there. A signed album cover by all four Beatles. But why is this one so deep in the Coach's Corner listings? It's way right down there is lot number 999. Look at that. Are any of those autographs authentic? No. If it was, it'd be going for a hell of a lot more money. A uh, hell of a lot more money than it's going for right now. You know why? Because the people who know Beatles stuff aren't bidding on garbage like that. Uh-oh. My alter ego's telling me, turn off the video. Stop it before something happens to you. But guess what? I'm going to stay here for a while. <laughs> Let's go to lot number 425 and look at this really, really ugly Paul McCartney autograph on a guitar. Is that ugly or what? I don't even think it has any bids. I'm not sure, but it probably doesn't. That's a real ugly Paul McCartney autograph. The guy who forged this must have been sitting on the bowl or something uh, with uh, constipation or something. I don't know. Uh, oh, this is really, really pathetic. You ever notice, if you go to the Coach's Corner auction site, a lot of items like this, like uh, signed blonde bats, are all grouped together. Usually it's a phony and fake Griffey like this one is, or a Pujols, or a Derek Jeter. Yeah, this is a really, really bad uh, Ken Griffey Jr. article baseball bat, lot number 226. Uh, this is just, just, just bad. Excuse me, it's lot number 376. I apologize. The next one I expose will be lot 226, so my apologies. But that's a really, really... What is it with that crazy Jr. at the end? That's just shaky as all heck. That's terrible. But only presented to you by the Coach's Corner Auction site. Lee Trithall and Scott Malik. Scott Malik actually uh, made me an invitation to meet him at some restaurant or something. He said he'd love to meet me. Well, Scott, maybe one day I will take you up on that. How about this lot number 226? Oh, oh yeah, look at that. Mark McGuire, Hank Aaron, and uh, Alex Rodriguez. And look at that crazy Mark McGuire in the middle. Holy crap. Uh, well, he must have been in his sleep when he did that autograph. Nah, not really. It's just a forgery of Mark McGuire. Yep. <sighs> That's terrible, isn't it? You know, it's always amazing that only Coach's Corner has items that have inscriptions. You know, people are fooled, buyers are fooled by items uh, and attract to items that have inscriptions. That's why some of the craziest inscriptions are only presented to you by the Coach's Corner Auction site like this lot number 240. Yeah, look at that. That's a really neat autograph of Alex Rodriguez. Isn't it? And guess what? It's got the inscription of A-Rod. Only presented to you by the Coach's Corner Auction site. Lot number 240. Wow. Only from Coach's Corner Auctions. Of course, we know it's a fake, don't we? Look, Alter Ego, I'm staying here. I'm not going anywhere. My damn Alter Ego keeps talking to me. 
How about this uh, crazy lot number 337? Joe D, Whitey Ford, Yogi Bear, or Mickey Mantle? Look how shaky that Joe D is. These were all done at the same time by the same forger. And this item was up at least once every two months on the Coach's Corner auction site. Really, really bad. And speaking of inscriptions, how about this lot number 261? It's really, really crazy Alex Rodriguez. And guess what? Look at that. Conveniently inscribed by Alex Rodriguez only for Coach's Corner Auctions. Yeah, that's Alex Rodriguez's autograph. Even uh, in a dead sleep, he's not going to sign that bad. I guarantee you that. Oh, yeah, and here's two other lots. How about this lot number 26? A lot of really sloppy Hank Aaron autograph baseballs. These are just really bad. What's with that crazy H in Hank? That's, I mean, that's just horrible. That's terrible. And next, of course, is lot number 248. Another lot of forged Hank Aaron autograph baseballs. This, look at those sloppy Hank Aarons. I mean, H Hank Aaron is not the neatest of autograph uh, signees anymore, but uh, these are just horrible. All forged by the same person. And let, real quick, let's look at a couple eBay items up there. This is actually a uh, Derek Jeter and Alex Rodriguez autographed batting helmet. I'm already going to show the ugly Derek Jeter. It's on eBay. It's item number 150-357-017-843. By seller Jeremy AL71, starting bid 150. Look at that, just bad forgery of uh, Derek Jeter. And if you look at the auction item on eBay, you will see how just as ugly the Alex Rodriguez is. And last but not least, this Yankees team signed poster, item number 220-447-546-434 from seller Game Time Deals. Game time, um, those autographs are all forgeries and they're all ugly. And believe it or not, people are bidding on this and on the previously shown A-Rod uh, Derrick Jeter autograph helmet. No bid yet on that, and I hope nobody does because uh, I'm going to report this item and the previous one. So there you go. My alter ego is speaking to me, telling me that I need some food. Well, he's right. For once, he's right. I need some food. So uh, I will be doing one more video tonight, I think. If not, I'll do one tomorrow night. So until then, I will see you guys later. Have a good night.